Hey guys, thanks for stopping back. Today I'm going to be going over how to export maps using Drone Deploy. Okay guys, once we've headed over to www.dronedeploy.com, you're going to go ahead and click on my dashboard in the top right hand corner, and that's going to give you the option to log in. We're already logged in, so all of our maps have loaded on the left there. We're going to be using the map on the top left that says subscribe to our channel. Uh, that is a map that we kind of use for testing purposes. So go ahead and click on that. Then in the top here, you're going to see export. So you're going to go ahead and click on export. It's going to ask for an email address or just use this uh, email address. It's one of the email addresses that's associated with our business. And the next, you're going to have options of what you export. So go ahead and click on this little drop down menu here. The uh, first map is the Ortho Mosaic, which is just going to be a uh, overhead view, basically what you're seeing on the right, right there right now. The next type of map you can export is a plant health map. And then going on through here, you can export your elevation. You can also export a 3D model. And that is an object file, um, so just make sure you have software that can read that. And then you can also uh, export a point cloud file. I uh, haven't gotten into the point cloud files yet, um, so I don't have a whole lot of information on those, unfortunately. Um, primarily in the agricultural field right now, we're use, using Ortho Mosaic, Plant Health, Elevation, and the 3D. So let's start with the Ortho Mosaic map for demonstration purposes. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and export that, and uh, so we'll select Ortho Mosaic, and then the file type. So for those, you get a GeoTIFF, a JPEG, and a PDF. A GeoTIFF is going to look a lot like a JPEG whenever it's exported, but it's going to have ge geographical references in it. And a lot of farm software uh, that you would uh, use is going to ask for a GeoTIFF file. Um, there are uh, other uh, platforms out there that can take the drone deploy uh, data through the ortho mosaic view and analyze it itself. Um, so just have to check to see what you have for software and kind of uh, make the decision on what type of file type you want to download. Uh, you can also do a JPEG, which is just a photo, and you can also do a PDF file. So the uh, for this one, we'll just do a JPEG. And then the map projection is the uh, different types of files that you can uh, you can choose and how it will be projected. So this one gives us one option, so we'll do the web. And then of course the resolution here, uh, whatever size resolution you want, uh, basically how big the file is gonna be. So once we have everything set there, I'm gonna, and I'm gonna go ahead and just back this down to two inch per pixel just to kind of speed things up a little bit. So once we get everything in there, you guys are gonna go ahead and click export. If you want to export and notify a specific person, this is where you'd like to type it in at. And we'll go ahead and click export. Now you'll see our exports sitting down here under existing exports. And it's going to take a little while for those to process. So while that one's processing, we'll go ahead and do one more example of a export. So we will go ahead and click on export and tap. Drop down menu here. Let's do a plant health. Uh, probably your more popular one file type. You'll see shapefile is in red right there. We can export shapefiles. Uh, we just don't have the plan that allows us to export the shapefiles. But that is an option if you guys use shapefiles in your agricultural field. And we will be offering um, shapefile exports in 2019 if you're uh, looking to uh, have us read some uh, fields for you guys. So we'll go ahead and do a GeoTIFF file. That's going to be the most common, um, I, I guess, aside from a shape file. There's different type of projections for this. As you'll see, there are a whole list of different projections. Um, 
The WGS84 is probably going to be your most common type of geographical references. Um, and what you guys would want to do for the map projections, I would recommend um, just going in there and doing a little research um, in uh, Drone Deploy. If you click this little button right here, it'll explain what each file type is. And I think it's going to come very clear to you what one you want to be downloading. Uh, so anyways, we'll go ahead and do the file size. I'm going to do, this is just going to be a big one again. Um, uh, I guess uh, two inch per pixel is what I mean by big to make a, make a very small file. And that's just to kind of speed things up. Once again here guys, if you want to notify a person of this map being done, um, this is where you would click uh, you know, notify whoever at yahoo.com and it'll uh, enter that person right there. And they'll be notified that the map is done and ready to be viewed. And then we'll go ahead and click export. So while those are processing, just want to talk about a couple things real quick here and why I like the export features in Drone Deploy. So whenever you go to share a map with somebody, so let's say we click on the share button and uh, up here we, we give somebody this link. Um, it's going to send them to our map here, but it's only going to show them the exports that we have exported. They will not have the option to export maps. And I do like that bit of control, um, especially if you have somebody who is wanting to use this software and they're just saying hey you know I, I just want to look at the maps and uh, you know may, maybe they uh, maybe you're a service provider and they've negotiated a, a price point that that allows them to just look at the maps well then they can just they can look at the maps and and uh, let's say somebody wants it to do exports and you know uh, that's uh, definitely more of a value um, so if they want the exports then they can let you know what exports they would like and then you export them for them. So whenever they, uh, your customer requests exports and then they click on export, their existing exports will show up. They will not see any of this. They won't be able to export themselves. So we're gonna go ahead and let our two pictures here process. And whenever they get proce processed, we'll take a quick look at them. And while these are processing here, guys, if you wanna go ahead and click the subscribe button and like this video and leave us a comment below we would greatly appreciate it that's how we keep this channel going all right guys our maps have finished downloading you'll see there that they are no longer saying processing they are blue and we're able to click on those so uh, go ahead and pick the map that you'd like to download to your computer we'll do the jpeg for this video it's going to pop up a separate menu for a short period of time there and it's going to start downloading it. Uh, that is download as a zip file, so you'll have to extract the fol folders out of that whenever it get, uh, gets loaded up. So that's all there is too to exporting your maps from Drone Deploy. If you guys do have any questions, you can drop them in the comments below or I'll also put my email address in the description of this video and you can. Uh, shoot me an email if you'd have a question. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you guys out on the next one.